বাংলা মানবতা সমাধান Now the woman right here with us, Dr. Zakir Naik himself. Dr. Naik, thank you very much for coming over here. Great pleasure. Great pleasure having you. Great pleasure. Jnab, when we counted the last time, how many SMS came? I told you around, I think, 21,000. 21,000, 234. 221,234. And about four SMSs against you. Two SMSs. Two SMSs. That's right. Laughed it, but you should be happy to know the count has increased against you. That's good. From two, it has now gone up to nine. नौ एसएमएस आपके खिलाफ हैं और टोटल एसएमएस जो आए हैं वो तीस हजार एक सौ सोलह आए हैं थर्टी थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन ओ थर्टी थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन सो यू हैव थर्टी थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेन पीपल इन योर फेवर ओह दैट्स ग्रेट यू हैप्पी कैन बिलीव इट आई पर्सनली कैन बिल बहुत लोगों ने ईमेल्स हमें भेजे हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया से न्यूजीलैंड से जनाब साउथ ईस्ट एशिया से बहुत आए हैं वियतनाम से चाइना से और कतार बुद्धिदा दी ट्रेडिशनल एरिया जैसे कतार हो गया कुवैत हो गया दुबई हो गया या सऊदी अरेबिया हो गया ये तो पारंपरिक इलाके हैं जहाँ से वैसे भी सपोर्ट के आते हैं लेकिन प्लेस लाइक चाइना वॉन्गजू प्रोवेंस ऑफ चाइना प्लेस लाइक वियतनाम एंड बाई द वे वी फाइन दी गेरिंग ई मेल्स फ्राम एरिट्री एज वेल So uh, you know, you, you, if you're not familiar with where Eritrea is, Eritrea is to the southwest of Ethiopia. So it's a very small place. Uh, used to be, you know, a very volatile place. There were lots of insurgencies and revolutions going on over there. At the moment, it's quite stable. You you have a lot of Indian teachers over there, I believe. So right. they, and they there are many of the Eritreans who I'm aware that uh, they're fans of mine. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Now, now, all right. Now, what is the situation now as far as your visa application is concerned. Jahan tak aapki visa application ka sawal hai. I do aware that we had got a exclusion order from the Home Secretary Theresa May herself, which was handed over to us on the 17th of June. But uh, my lawyer, just 24 hours back, that's uh, approximately yesterday evening, my lawyer has handed over a letter to Theresa May saying that we give you 24 hours to reverse the order or we'll file a case in the High Court for judicial revision. So 24 hours should be up within the next few hours, hopefully. All right, 24 hours should be up within the next couple of hours, and then the British government, Her Majesty's government, has to reply to why they have excluded you. No, we said they reverse the order, or if they don't reverse, then you we challenge in the court. You, you challenge the court, and they will have to give an explanation. Hopefully. To that effect. So uh, why the support? Why do so many people support you? Why? I feel because I speak the truth, and because I'm a person who promotes peace. So that is the reason I have a large following among the Muslims as well as the non-Muslims. That's right, because we're getting a lot of non-Muslims also who are supporting you. At least all the non... Uh, the, the, I, all right, I shouldn't be saying non-Muslims. My, my, my fault. There are lots of Arabic and Persian names here, and there are lots of Sanskrit names here as well. So... <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, but that's something I wanted to ask you always. This is my You've appeared on this show once earlier. That's when, right. When it used to appear on a different channel. That's right. Um, why is it that in India, all Muslims per se, most Muslims, not all, because now in Kerala, of course, the uh, trend has changed. Uh, why is it that Indian Muslims, invariably, 95% of them, tend to keep Arabic or uh, uh, Persian names? Why is that? Unlike, say, in Indonesia or Singapore, where you have Sanskritized names, but they still happen to be Muslims. E even in uh, Kerala, for example, just the other day, I met a Muslim gentleman whose name was also Rajiv. Oh. So, <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a Ranjit over there, there's a Rajiv over there, there's a Pradeep over there. They, they're all Muslims. But so why is it a trend to keep uh, Persian names? Actually, there's a lot of names. similarities and commonalities between Urdu, Persian and Arabic. Gee. The percentage goes to more than 25%. The words that are common in Urdu, 
in Persian and Arabic. So that may be one of the reasons that the names are more Arabic sounding. But in Islam, you can keep any name as long as the meaning is good. And as long as it doesn't have a wrong meaning, you can keep any name in any language. There's no compulsion that it should be of Arabic origin. All right, now let's get, get rid of a couple of questions first since you're here and uh, uh, your time I know is limited. Um, a, do you support terrorism? Uh, do you support terrorism in any form? Terrorism in any form which harasses an innocent human being, I 100% unequivocally condemn it and I've always been condemning it since the past several years. So why did this thing happen? It's, it's, it's very silly. I tell you what, we got the thing of yours, saying that your statement had been taken out of context. That's right. Do you think that is the only reason? I, I personally, because I'll tell you what I think. What I think that there is a lobby working against you. Of course. I think there are lots of people who are working against you to see to it that you should be stopped in your tracks. You're They're both over right. here in India, in Pakistan, and in England. So you have hit the nail on the head. So when you know the inside story. So so who are these people, and and why? What are you going to do to stop them? See, How, what are you going to do to fight them? And these people them? are those people who don't want the message of peace to be spread throughout the world. As you said, any logical person goes and sees the context, would never ever say that I promote terrorism. Because I'm a person who gets all the human beings together. Gee. Whether it be different groups of Muslims, whether it be different groups of human beings belong to different religions. That has been my strategy always, to get the human beings together. Now, when I get different groups of human beings together, those people are controlling these small groups, whether it be different yeah. groups or different ideologies or different religions, they lose their flock. I get all the means together. That is the reason I feel is that I have got a strong lobby against me. Right, and, and, and we know what happened just the other day on the show. And in case, um, as far as all of you are concerned, we will have that question for you in the header again. Um, do you support Dr. Zakir Naik? If you do, Type out why for a yes, or if you're against him, type out why for a no. And I really would love to know why you're against him. Uh, Un Janab ne ye kaha ke bhai, aap suit boot mein aa gaye hain, pata nahi kahan se. Aap medical doctor hain. Aap uh, Janab aap kazi bhi nahi hain. Aapne wo jo kya hoti hai jo uh, talim bhi nahi li hai. Daul umme bhi nahi gaya umme. Umme nahi gaye. Aap 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 jo jo Islam ki jo padhai hoti hai, wo bhi nahi kari aapne. Aap hafiz Quran bhi nahi hain. Uh, matlab you're not even a preacher. To aap kahan se aa gaye hain? Quran se kahan wale? So, uh, what would you say to that? And, and, and one, one more thing. He also said that you are doing this. I have never claimed that I am a scholar. I have never claimed to be a scholar. I have never claimed to be a scholar. If you see any of the introduction that I give, I have said that I am a student of comparative religion. I am a scholar. 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 ये बिल्कुल सही बात है कि आई एम मेडिकल डॉक्टर बाय प्रोफेशन और मैं टीएन मेडिकल नायर हॉस्पिटल से फारिग हुआ हूं टीएन मेडिकल और नायर हॉस्पिटल से आप आप एमबीबीएस किया उसके बाद आप आपके इसी कॉलेज में भी गए माशाल्लाह आप जानते और मैंने कोई दारुन से तालीम हासिल नहीं की लेकिन मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम पैगंबर मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम फाइनल मैसेंजर उन्होंने कहा जो सही बुखारी की हदीस है बल्लिगु अन्नी वल आया Propagate even if you know one verse. अगर आप एक भी आयत जानते हैं इस्लाम के बारे में, आपका फर्ज़ है कि आप दूसरे तक पहुँचाओ। तो वही मैं कर रहा हूँ। लेकिन जब मैं ये करता हूँ, मैं अपने आप को ये नहीं कहता हूँ कि मैं मुफ्ती हूँ, कि आले मुँह के फ़क़ीर हूँ। मैं अपने आप को तालबे इन कहता हूँ। But whenever I talk, whenever I give answers, I always give references, whether it be from the Quran, whether it be Bhagavad Gita, whether it be Veda, whether it be Bible. So when I give references, that carries more weight. Right. So people listen to me more. And the normal thing is that giving an answer to a question is easy. Giving convincing answer is difficult. No, no over here. But over here. I'll come back to the study of comparative religions later. But, but this is something I really would want to know. Sure. Uh, from whatever little bit I've read about Islam, there is no, there is no priestly class in Islam. Correct. Isn't that right? There Isn't is right? no priesthood at all. There's no clergy. There's no clergyman. Anyone, right. anyone can lead the salah. Ji. When we're having a gathering, if we're in congregation, Anyone can lead a salah. I mean, 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 I no, they are scholars, they have done it and they have done it. But this is not a thing which can be inherited. No. This is not an inherited thing. And wherever anything is inherited, actually it is against the religious tenets. Isn't that right? 
اسلام میں کوئی چیز انہیریٹڈ نہیں ہے اس کے اندر ان ٹرمز آف بینگ قاضی ایٹسیٹرا اور اگر نالیجبل لا سکسیشن بھی نہیں ہے لیکن اگر ان کے والد عالم تھے ہو سکتا ہے بیٹے بھی عالم میں ہو سکتا ہے بٹ اٹس ناٹ لیکن جناب میں یہاں میں یہاں پہ کچھ اور پوچھ رہا ہوں آپ سمجھ رہے ہیں میں کیا پوچھ رہا ہوں بالکل سمجھ بالکل سمجھ رہا ہوں وٹ آئی ایم سینگ از وین دیر از نو لا آف سکسیشن جی ہاں ایون وین دیر از نو لا آف سکسیشن دیز دا بیسٹ ول انہیرٹ از نیٹ رائٹ بالکل صحیح دا بیسٹ ول انہیرٹ بالکل صحیح سو ہاؤ کین دی امام آف دا شاہی مسجد ادر وائز نون از دا جامع مسجد ان ڈیلی ہاؤ کین ہز سن claim that as his his inherited seat how can he claim that is that is that, is that, is that according to islamic tarah inheritance nahi hai ji agar ko tell deed mein likha hai to mujhe pata nahi but aam taur ke upar there is no inheritance in islam for a post of leader or a post of a head of state it's not and can the word imam be used imam actually means a person who is a leader ji. imam means in front actually ji imam in arabic means in front So person who's in front, that's it. So for example, if I lead a prayer, at that time I'm the Imam. So whoever leads the prayer is called the Imam. Imam means actually a leader or a person who's in the front. Right. So, so, so we, we settled that question. There is no inheritance per se. No inheritance in terms of posts for these things. Right. Dialogue. Dialogue. Discussion, 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 debate, 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 rebuttal, rebuttal, rebuttal conclusion, conclusion. Eliminate misconceptions about religion. Get enlightened. Witness Dr. Zakir Naik in a battle of words. Dekhun, Shomuk Shamori, Proti Ryoshpoti Bar, Ratnotaib, Apuno Shamprochar, Shakal Chale Doshtai Bangladesh, Peace TV Banglai. نبیجی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مونی مکتا ابو ماسود انساری رضی اللہ عنہ تک بڑھنی تو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بولین جی بکتی کو لینے راستہ دیکھا بے شی بکتی اوئی پوری من نیکی پا بے جی پوری من نیکی تارو پر عمل کری پا بے سوہی مسلم تریتیو کھنڈو نیتریتو تھے اور اچھد شات شکانو پوئی حدیث نمبر چار ہزار چھ سو پینسٹی سروکشٹ بانی سٹھیک لین دین इसलमी अर्थनीति कत सुंदर भाव नूतन जुगे सफलता अर्जन करी अर्थनीति परवर्ती अनुष्ठान पीस टी बांगल् Aren't they talking about a very uh, Hinduized version of Islam? Isn't, isn't See, that what they're talking about? Personally, I'm a person who doesn't criticize other people. That's my way. To praise a person is easy. I avoid criticizing anyone. I avoid criticizing even those who are against me. Well, I believe in the philosophy. When someone throws stones at you, raise yourself so high so that the stone doesn't reach you. Yes, as a movement per government, that's a different thing. So I personally avoid speaking against group. Because that doesn't give a good flavor. But these people good succeeded in getting you banned, even from Uttar Pradesh. They succeeded in there getting you. There was no you. ban on they me. They succeeded on in getting your there, meeting privated in Allahabad. Isn't that right? There never was a ban on me anywhere in the world. This is the first time in UK. But isn't it in, true? Are you, are, you, are you allowed to go and hold a meeting in UP right of now? Of course I can go. I've got an invitation from UP, but I'm busy. In UP, the people who had taken the permission for that meeting The permission was cancelled. There was no letter sent to me. No one told me don't come to UP. What it was that the organizers, their permission was taken away, which can happen very often anyway. Yes, so there's no rule that oh, I cannot oh. go to UP. I have got invitation from UP to Lucknow. You come, we'll have a great gathering. But I'm busy. It's not easy to get no, you overnight. No, that, that could have been because of a law and order problem. Except when you call me different. <laughs> right. As, that could have been because of a law and order problem. That could have been because of some other That's problem, some administrative reason. problem. There are many politicians who say that you cannot go to this place for these two number of days. Yes. But that doesn't mean a ban is imposed on them. 
Right. So, all right. So that's a clarification. That's a clarification. That, 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 anyway. information, that information was carried out here on this show. He said that there's a ban on uh, Dr. Zakir Naik in Uttar Pradesh. Now, that's a clarification. I mean, by the way, when we inquired from the UP administration, they also said that they are not aware of any such ban. We have said that when Uttar Pradesh government said that we have done this inquiry, they also said that there is no ban in our knowledge. That's what they said. Uh, so that's a clarification over there. Now, in, in terms of the other thing, A is the question of the, your statements having been taken out of context with regard to who should be a terrorist. I'm, I'm talking about why are people against you. The UK ban, I'm reasonably certain it will be lifted. I don't think that is going to be Hopefully, on. hopefully. I, I, I don't think that is going to be on. Any, anyway, it's not just my personal feeling. We're getting a lot of people calling in from the UK as well. And they also say that they made a mistake. That's right. Because obviously they've been wrongly briefed. I mean, it's a new government that you said. David Cameron has just taken over as Prime Minister. So possibly they, you know, well, I don't think there will be a problem there. So what does that mean? That you have to say that you have to अगर कोई उसको लैच ऑन कर ले और किसी भी चीज को कोई नेगेटिव कॉन्नोटेशन दे दे तो कर सकता है मतलब दैट्स व्हाट इसकी किसके साथ आपके साथ भी कर सकता है मेरे साथ भी कर सकता है जी किसके साथ भी कर सकता है राइट सो दैट दैट दैट्स व्हाट द थिंग इज ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू योरसेल्फ व्हेन डिड यू स्टार्ट डूइंग दिस व्हेन व्हेन वाज द व्हाट वाज द फर्स्ट मीटिंग दैट यू एड्रेस्ड बिकॉज़ यू यू कुड नॉट हैव टॉक्स and in in terms of your talks in terms of lectures. your comparative religion lectures actually because they're brilliant very, very frankly speaking but i'm fascinated by the way you know you can be you can you can, you can pick up the bhavishya puran from here the chandogya upanishad from there uh, uh, talk about the yajurved the samved the rigved the atharvaved and then compare it to what is there in the holy quran i mean that's amazing really truly amazing so when when did you start that as we were aware that uh, by education qualification i'm a medical doctor yeah. while i was doing my medical studies when i was in second year in nair hospital that was in december 1987 there was a person by the name of sheikh ahmed idad he happened to be a muslim scholar of the christian bible so when he came to bombay i was inspired by him and because of being inspired by him sheikh ahmed idad of yeah, sheikh ahmed of south africa originally yeah. born in india in gujarat in tatkeshwar yeah. then yeah. later on went to south africa spent his life and the reason i chose to be a medical doctor because i felt it was the best profession and it is a good profession so oh, that is bad but when i treated the patient when i treated his physical illness i got immense pleasure but when i treated a person spiritually his soul i found multiple times more pleasure that is the time i decided slowly slowly I shifted and i told my parents that okay now i want to give at least 2 hours a day for talking about peace my parents said no problem my father is a doctor as you have heard my brother is a doctor Then I said I want 50% medicine, 50% talking about peace. They said no problem. Then I said two hours medicine, balanced peace. They said no problem. Then I said full time peace. They said no problem. So when did you so when first did you, talk? Was your first meeting. First, first talk. lecture that I gave was in the small office in the gathering of maybe about 40, 50 people. That was in 1992. That Where? is the Quran, God's word. In, in, And in Mumbai. In Mumbai. Right. That was in Mumbai. The first talk. And it went on for more than three hours. I was shocked. I thought because I don't know how much time it takes, so I prepared from memory, thinking it would be a one-hour speech. It turned out to be a three-hour speech. That was the first talk, and then in public it was in 1993, the 1994, and the first talk I gave abroad was in 1996. In 1993, where was the first public meeting? Public meeting it was in uh, Indian Merchant Chamber. In, in uh, Churchgate. Uh, Indian Merchant Chamber at Churchgate. In, in Churchgate, and the talk was Quran and Modern Science. All right, Quran and modern science. Then it was Women Rights in Islam at uh, YB Chamon Hall in 1994. And then in 1996, you went abroad for the first time. In between, there were some other talks. So 1995 is the Quran God's word. So first there were a few hundred, then became few thousand. Then I gave the talk in Billa Matushri in 1995 is the Quran God's word. There were a few thousand people. Though the capacity was only 1,200, but there were a few thousand people who turned up, and there was a big chaos there. And there usually is with your talks. There usually is. We work in sort. All right, now, so that's how you started off. That's right. Then you used to appear on various television channels and other things, and then you started your own TV channel called Peace TV. So how is Peace TV doing now? As far as Peace TV is concerned, as you may be aware, it was first started in January 2006. That's the Peace TV main channel, which had about 75% English, 25% Urdu-Hindi mixed. Gee. And it kept on spreading. It was on one satellite, then two, then three, then four, then five, six. It was throughout the world in the span of one and a half years after it started. It was printed throughout the world. Anyone puts a dish, any part of the world, whether it be America, Europe, any part of the world, you could see it. In 2008, in June, one more channel was launched, Peace TV Urdu. Peace TV so Urdu. From the main channel, all the Urdu Hindi programs were removed. It became a 100% English channel, and then we had a new channel, Peace TV Urdu, Marshall. last year. And 
Inshallah, we have hopes in December wonderful. to launch a third channel, Peace TV Bangla. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. All right, now let, let's come back to your case. As far as the UK case is concerned, um, two things. A, perhaps they have been misinformed or whatever, but I don't. Do they, do they usually do that? Do they usually, they don't usually do that because you've been to UK no, before. They don't, they don't. They don't. You, because, because they're very thorough in what they do. This is a new government. So I feel they took a decision in haste. As you know, I've been to UK several times and they talk about freedom of expression. I had never had any problem. In fact, the last visit, I was standing in the queue in the Heathrow airport, right at the end of the queue. The officer called me. I said, okay, fine. Do you want to question me? He said, Dr. Naik, you know, we see you on the TV. And they got me in the front. Imagine. So there are many people in the immigration who know me. So this, I believe, because it's a new government, hardly been in power for one and a half month. And this conservative government, as you may be aware, initially was in the opposition. Yes. Used to always tell the government in power that because of you, you're allowing people to speak and you get them inside. That is the reason all this terrorism is there. Now, when they came to power, it was, as you said, many groups are working against me. There was an article that came in Sunday Times on 30th of May, yes. 2010. The person who wrote the article was David Lippard. And he wrote this, that a preacher of hate is let into Britain saying how come this new government, conservative government, is allowing people to preach such hate, etc. So there was a pressure on the new government that now you're in power, now you have to ban Dr. Zakir Naik. You have to exclude him from the country. And they gave reason and they quoted him out of context, etc. So that's how I feel it was more of a political decision rather than a legal decision. Because no legal person in his sound mind will ever take such a decision. So that is the reason, though, in the newspapers, the quotation was only half a sentence. Saying Dr. Zakir Naik says, every Muslim should be a terrorist, which now is clarified. But in the letter that Theresa May gave me, the full context is given. So after reading the full context, how could a person yet agree with the exclusion order? And yet they did. They did because, see, when you're in politics, you take a choice. They know both ways they're losing. So they take the choice in which they feel that they can maintain their seat. So if they exclude me, they can say, okay, we have kept our word, irrespective of what happens later on. And they know very well. And they were informed that if they sued me, we will be going to the court. Lekin, pe Dr. Naik, I'm going to this question and why we are carrying out this entire campaign as far as the RKB show is concerned. As well. Let me make it very clear. Yahan par, could this be the beginning of a trend in the sense that UK does it first, then maybe France does it, then Germany does it, then the rest of the European Union follows suit, and started. then the United States do it? It's already started. Right. Immediately after that, we got a call from the Canadian to the Canadian High Commission, yes. A call, a call. Yes. Not an official letter. Mm. With official exclusion, they require everything to be passed. So just a call saying that you have a valid visa for five years of Canada, which was given to you last year, but we're sorry the visa is cancelled. However, if you want to travel again, you can apply. What does it mean? You have a valid visa for five years, which was given to me last year. That's a Canadian. That's right. I applied for a normal visa. They gave me a worker's visa. Now, why will they give me a worker's visa when I ask for a normal visa? That means they had faith that this person is excellent. He has been to Canada before. First, they gave me six months visa. Then they gave me two years visa. Same in UK, same in Canada. So this thing has just started recently. And it will follow suit. And we are aware of that. Not only with me. Very shortly, because, you know, after me, they are trying to exclude the other people also who are doing the same thing throughout the world. So how do we combat that? in your opinion? I feel that we should not use the dirty tricks what they are using. I will not quote anyone out of context. I will believe in fighting in a truthful way. Fighting is the wrong word to use now. It's very dangerous. I would say challenge them. But if I say I'm fighting the UK government, it will come my headlines, you know, Zakir fighting UK government again on YouTube. You know, so again they'll be after me. The right word, you know, so now I have to be careful of what word <laughs> you use. It should be, I would like to challenge them or, right. you know, a request for a revision. And I feel today I have more faith in the judicial system rather than the political system. Whether it be the judicial system of India, I have more faith in it than the political system. And also I have more faith in the judicial system of UK than the political system. But there are times when the politicians are very much endangered for their seat. They can go to the extent of even putting so much pressure on the judicial system that they cannot take a just view. Or they cannot give a just verdict. Which is sad, isn't it? Which is really, really sad. sad. Which is sad. Uh, man, that, by the way, just doesn't apply to you. It applies in lots of other things as well. That's right. Um, Dr. Naik, a personal question to you. What about your own faith? What about your own... Um, do you really believe in what you preach? Of course. 
if I wouldn't have believed in what I preached, then why would I have preached it? Because no one is paying me for that. It is absolutely honorary. It's absolutely complimentary. It's for my own in-depth pleasure, unlike many people. As you know that I'm a medical doctor, but I'm just a silent partner in the medical profession. Right. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, thank you so much for coming over here, Dr. Knight. It's a pleasure. Great pleasure having you with us. And always, Thanks always, uh, talk with you is most interesting, very educative and very enlightening. Thank it's you so much. Sir. Great pleasure. One of these days, we must have a proper debate. Inshallah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That will be very, really, really nice. Right. Time for us to go as well, time for us to go as well, but you keep watching 11. And Dr. Nike's channel is called Peace TV, which is P-E-A-C-E. -E. That's Peace TV, and you can, of course, watch him every day on Peace TV. Right? Thank you so much once again, and God yeah, bless you, and all the very best to you. Thanks for that. Islam, Farif Naik. I challenge any human being to point out a single fundamental of Islam. The illustrious son of the world famous narrator of Islam, Dr. Zakir Naik. Motivating towards the true path. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Science without religion is lame, and religion without science is blind. With his thrilling words and inspirational temperament. Demanding dowry from the would-be bride is completely prohibited in Islam. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the one endowed with knowledge and wisdom. I am proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. Deku Kishor Taroka. प्रति बृहस्पतिवार रात साढ़े सातटाय पुनः सम्प्रचार सकाल साढ़े नटाए बांगलेशे पीस टी बांगल् मैरेज और डिवोर्स इस्लामिक रूलिंग सल्यूशन और प्रॉब्लम हेवन और हेल यू चूज ब्यूटी वेल Family status, virtue. Decide what you want. Decide your choice. Be sad or be happy. It's your choice. Join Dr. Zakir Naik. Dekhun, ardhangini nati tangini. Prati Rabibar, Raj Shad Shattai, Apuno Shamprachar, Shakal Shad Nautai, Bangladesh, Peace TV, Banglai. Jakotche Shabar Odikar Rokha. Manushar Haag Sudhi Aakto Shad Kare Nostra Kare Thakke, Shita Allah Tala Maaf Kore Hinna. Jate Aache Shab Manushar Janna Shammar. Tar Churitri Bepare Dudhi Aagat Kore Kone Kotha Bale Aabang Prachar Kore, Etao Aak Dharner Onik Bada Zulom. Sheikh Abdul Qayyum. Jhe Shutti Kar Momin Jara Tara Tadir Jeevane Shamaay Kye Nostra Kare Na. Jha Shekhaay Prokrito Bhalo Bebohar. Aamad Dunia Vikas Kore Ba, Aamad Dunia Vikas Daai Daai Ito Aache Shegula Palam Kore Bo. दीनी दाई दाई तो किया सही बोला पालन करेंगे सही बोला पालन करेंगे जहाँ पहुँचन्द करे मानो बतारू परे और ताचार किया छे जानते होले देखून इस्लामे उदिकारेर आदेश काल शंदा शारे छटाए आप पुनः शंप्रचार दुपुर शारे बारूटाए बांग्लादेशे बीस टीवी बांग्लाए